Hi, my name is Samuel James Price, and every single day I do a show called The Crypto Lifer Show. And uh, together we make this show an amazing contribution to the blockchain space. Super excited to do it every single day and to be the host. Thank you to everyone out there on the show. I greatly appreciate it. And what we do is we give you the news in three to five minutes, three of the biggest topics that could sway the markets or something that's big that's happening. Like is Microsoft moving in with Polygon? That didn't happen, I'm just saying. Things of that nature would be awesome. And that's the type of news that we want to see. So layer two blockchain Starknet's quantum leap upgrade goes live for speedier transactions. The upgrade for Starknet, a layer two blockchain or roll up to the Ethereum blockchain went live following a community vote that overwhelmingly agreed to deploy it to the main net. Starknet, a layer two to the Ethereum blockchain deployed its quantum leap upgrade earlier on Wednesday designed to increase the number of transactions per second and reduce the confirmation times for the blockchain. Quantum leap was developed in its Giorli testnet last week on its Giorli testnet last week, followed by a community vote, which 97.91% of the voters agreed to push forward to mainnet. According to Starkware team, the company behind the Starknet blockchain TPS peaked several times at 90, that's transactions per second in case you're wondering, during testing, though was consistently at 37 transactions per second. Starkware previously had told Coindesk that TPS following Quantum Leap would reach into the triple digits. Apparently, it didn't happen. 97, almost to 100. Is this a good article or a bad one then? It's interesting. Um, it's good to know that they're continuing to upgrade and mainnets are coming. Uh, Rollups are going to take over. They're going to be able to do transactions faster and better. Understand this idea and even play the narrative. Even if you don't understand all the nuances, understand the idea and play that narrative. A deep book brings centralized style orders for decentralized finance on the SUI network. Deep Book Central Limit Order Book will allow traders to view order flow and market depth on SUI. Uh, Layer 1 Blockchain SUI announced the release of Deep Book, a decentralized central limit order book that supports applications built on the network and allows traders to set a specific price for an asset in the same way as on centralized exchanges. The order book is designed to extend the liquidity of decentralized finance protocols that feature automated market makers whilst enhancing trading functionality on SUI. A central limit order book differs from the mechanism used by decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap or SusiSwap, which offers straight token swaps. Interesting. Um, Deep Book provides the essential financial foundation for every DeFi tool built on SUI. Um, and, you know, I believe there will be a time when DeFi will become so fluid, it'll feel just like we use, uh, you know, centralized exchanges now. Uh, and I believe we're about four to five years away from it becoming pretty nice and then eight years away from it becoming absolutely fluid. And you'll probably do all the, maybe even closer, but uh, once it's fine-tuned and really becoming, um, you know, moving at the speed that we want it to. But every day something gets added to DeFi, and um, this news is showing you that that's, you know, DeFi is not going anywhere at all. Uh, Bitcoin holds just below 31K after U.S. inflation improves more than forecast. Economists had forecast sizable year-over-year declines in both headline and core inflation for this report. The U.S. inflation rate, as measured by the Consumer Price Index, slipped to 3% on a year-over basis on June from 4% in May, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Expectations were for a decline to 3.1%. The price of Bitcoin, which has been holding pattern between 30 and 31,000 for much of the past few days, rose mostly to 30,900 in the immediate aftermath of the report, but subsequently gave back that gain, returning to just under 30,800. And you guys already know, we know what's up with the price. The core CPI, which stripes out vol was strips out volatile food and energy costs, fell to 4.8% from 5.3 previously against forecast for 5%. The monthly core CPI was 0.2% in June versus 0.4 in May and forecast for 0.3. Imagine beating it by 0.1% could change the world. Um, pretty crazy. Uh, and Coinbase um, doing something pretty interesting. Coinbase deal shows Google it's committed to crypto. How much depends on whom you ask. A tie-up between the crypto tech giants has lauded affirmation for blockchain. In reality, Google is looking for new customers. Uh, going by recent headlines, what company says would assume Google is diving into crypto. A couple of weeks ago, Google and Coinbase put out a joint press release. Google and Cloud and Coinbase launched a new strategic partnership to drive Web3 innovation. And Google and Coinbase, two behemoths getting together. Um, there you have it. And everyone, that is the news. Every single day, we bring you the news. Come to my live stream from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Monday through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights at 8 p.m. to get even more information, to get charts, even live trades and things that I'm looking at, maybe even some DCAs that I'm finding and some gems that I've looked for as well. 
so much information. They call me the crypto lifer for a reason. Uh, you may, you never know. I found cake at 44 cents. I found Cardano at two cents, EGLD at 20 bucks. Um, the list goes on safe moon at nine and, and more. So you never know what I'm going to find on my next live stream. <laughs>